how the buffer can minimize the pH change when you add in a strong acid or strong base. So let's think about this. So inside these buffers, we say the buffer is going to have the conjugated S and base, right? So assuming today what you have is actually 1N of weak acid HA and 1N of its conjugate base A minus the same concentration and then they have high amount of those things inside your solution. For my water system, just pure water. If today I add in 0.1 M HCl, 0.1 M HCl into these two containers, I want to know the pH change in these two situations. So if I I wrote this delta pH means actually before I want to actually know the pH after I add in. So let's final pH minus the pH before I add in. Let's start from the easy one. Let's look at the water solution first. pH initial. Okay, before you add in any acid into your water solution, what is the pH? Seven. Okay, so you know this one is actually seven. Say so the pH I is equal to seven. What is the pH if you have a 0.1 M HCl inside your solution? Okay, so since here the things we do is actually we know this is what? Strong acid, right? Therefore, you know the proton concentration is going to equal to your acid concentration which is equals to 0.1, right? pH is equal to negative log of H plus concentration, right? There's negative log of 0.1. Therefore, the pH is equals to just one. This one is actually your pH final, right? After you add in your um, acid. So your pH final is actually one. Therefore, you know your delta pH, okay, which is actually the difference between the two. Let me take the absolute value here. So it's going from seven to one, right? So the delta pH is going to equals to six. So now let's look at our buffer. So how do you calculate pH of a buffer? H H equation. That's the thing to actually memorize. pH equals to your pKa minus log acid concentration over base concentration. Every time when you see a buffer solution, go to the HH equation. Buffer solution, HH equation. Buffer solution, HH equation. Buffer solution, HH equation. equation. Let's say we have a acidic acid, the Ka is going to equal to 1.77 times 10 to the negative 4. Therefore, you know the pH of your solution will be pKa, which is actually your negative log. Ka is 1.77 times 10 to the negative 4 minus log. What is your acid concentration? 1, right? How about your base concentration? It's also 1, right? So here it will be just 1 over 1. Okay, so the first term give you 3.75 minus log 1. So you know the initial pH, pHi is just equals to 3.75. Then you add in some acid into your buffer, right? So once you add in your strong acid into your buffer, basically you actually throw in your H plus into your buffer. But the acid always trying to find a base to interact with. Vice versa, if you're throwing a base, it's going to always find the acid to interact with. So once you throw in H+, plus, then you know the H+, plus is going to interact with your A-. minus. So once they actually interact, what do you have? HA, right? What is HA? HA is actually a conjugate acid of the base, right? We say in the beginning, you have 1m of a minus 1n of your ha, right? Let me move these things out a little bit so I have more space. 
So let's say initial initial situation we have, right? You have one n of a minus and one n h a inside your solution, right? So what you do now is actually you add in what? You add in point one n of h plus. So you know the acid is going to enter with your base. That's going to produce its conjugated acid, right? So you know the change is going to happen. So right now, who is actually a limiting reagent? H plus, right? It's because H plus only 0.1. You have substantial amount of the buffer system. This one will be fully consumed. Therefore, you're going to have minus 0.1 for your H plus, minus 0.1 for your A minus. Then you're going to have plus 0.1 for your H A. So once you reach equilibrium, so you don't have H plus existing now, it becomes zero, right? A minus become 0.9. HA become 1.1. After you add in the acid, you know the things you really change is actually you change the concentration of the conjugated S and base, right? So right now you can see that the conjugation base concentration decrease a little bit, conjugation acid concentration increase a little bit. Once you know this, you know this, you go back to the buffer situation again. pH equals to pKa minus log. Acid right now is actually 1.1. Base is actually 0.9. So pKa is 3.75. This thing is actually around 0.1. Therefore, the pH final will be 3.65. So in the beginning, we know the pH is 3.75. Right now it's actually 3.65, right? What is the delta pH? Just 0.1, right? So you're actually adding the same thing into a solution. Inside water, your delta pH is 6. But in buffer, you only change 0.1. You can see there's a huge difference between the two. So that's why buffer is actually so important. What is the most famous buffer system? It's inside your body. Yes, the ball. Okay, what's the pH of your pore? Okay, it varies. Okay, depending on how healthy you are. Okay, it varies from six to eight. Blood is actually the system that keep us stay about the same every day. Okay, so you can imagine that how much food you you eat every day, right? So those foods actually going to change your pH. But no matter what you eat, the pH of your blood is actually always always stay within the six to eight region. Simple reason is because our blood is actually the most powerful buffer. So many of you may want to go to the medical school. Buffer, this system will go with you forever. Whatever solution you prepare will always, always be buffer solution. Okay, so right now you should be able to see if you have buffer versus water. Buffer indeed can actually minimize the pH change when you throw in a strong acid. Let's go to this question. Suppose that you have one more of HCOOH and 0.5 more HCOONA are added to water and diluted to one liter. Calculate the pH of the solution. Where the Ka of the acid is 1.77 times 10 to the negative 4. So that's actually step number one, right? I did not add in anything. I just tell you, I have a solution with all these species inside the solution, right? So what solution do we have? Acid, base, or buffer? Yes, it's buffer, right? Okay, how do you know it's buffer? Ka will tell you it's a weak acid, right? So what are the key features of buffer? Yes, you have a coexisting of conjugated acid and base pair, right? When you look at these questions, I, I think right now most people can see that HCOOH, weak acid, HCOONA. Okay, once this thing's dissolved, it's going to give you HCOO minus N sodium plus. HCOO minus. Can you see these two are conjugated acid and base? 
if you can see this conjugated acid base coexisting inside your solution, it is a buffer. From here, from this description, you know it is a buffer. How do you calculate the pH of a buffer solution? HH equation. So let's do first one. A, we know we have H, C, O, O, H. We have H, C, O, O minus. These are conjugated acid base pair, right? Therefore, buffer. Therefore, H H equation. P H is going to equal to your P K A minus log acid concentration over base concentration. P K A is negative log. K A is one point seven seven times ten to the negative four minus log. What is your acid concentration? What is your acid concentration from the questions? One more divided by one liter, right? So let is just one. How about your base concentration? It will be 0.5 divided by one liter. It's just 0.5, right? So the first term give you a number of 3.75, and the second term give you 0.3. Therefore, the pH is 3.45. Step number two, you add in 0.1 more of HCl. So this is actually a strong acid. This acid, okay, I'm just write H plus, okay, it's going to enter with your A minus, in this case, HCOO minus. That's going to give you HCOOH, right? So right now, you know, initially, you have one, one end of your acid, 0.5 N of your base, right? And you add in 0.1 more in liter, that's 0.1 N of H plus. The strong acid is going to enter with your conjugate base that's going into your conjugate acid, right? So this guy is the limiting reagent, so you be concerned 100%. So you minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1, plus 0 0.1. Once you reach your equilibrium, you don't have H plus, but you have actually 0.4 N of HCOO minus, and then 1.1 N of HCOOH. So let's actually the new acid and base concentration. Can you calculate the pH of this solution? I hope the answer will be yes, right? You still have substantial amount of conjugated S base. So it's a buffer. So HH equation. So your pH is equal to pKa minus log your acid concentration at equilibrium over base concentration at equilibrium. So there will be 3.75 minus log on the top will be 1.1, bottom will be 0.4. And your pH final will be 3.31. So to sum up this type of questions, it's always like two steps, right? The first step is actually you are giving a solution. Okay, you want to look into your questions and identify. If you have conjugated acid-base pair inside your solution, you know it's buffer, then HH equation is actually your go-to equation. Then you add in the acid, <clears throat> a strong acid, and you know the strong acid is going to enter with your conjugate base, then produce more of your conjugate acid. Okay, so it's going to change the concentration of your HA and A minus concentration, right? So into just update, let turn, then you can try to calculate your pH.